small RV that we like to travel in, and we enjoy our coffee in the morning. So I wanted a small coffee maker. I've always used Keurigs. Well, I've used Keurigs for a long time, and uh, I thought a nice small Keurig would be pretty neat. And they came out with one called a Mini, and I bought it. wasn't real happy with it. Had problems. I thought maybe it was bad. I returned it. I got a second one. It had problems. Uh, but one of my subscribers had mentioned the K Slim. It's a new, it's a new improved one. They said. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Keurig's always been good to us. They, they, they're uh, customer orientated. So um, this is my new coffee maker. It's a K Slim. You can see it's pretty small, and it, it just arrived yesterday. So we're going to take a look at it and make us a cup of coffee. With it. Hopefully, two cups of coffee. That's the thing. So, uh, first thing in the box, there's a little instruction book to talk about. Let's get brewing. Piece of cardboard. And then the coffee maker itself. Okay, and that's all that's in the box. So here's on the top of it, it's got the brew button, the power button, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, or 12 ounce. These, these don't look like they're buttons, it's just probably an indicator light to tell you to just scale it or to add water. And then you can see this is the, the needle that punches the K cup, and then there's another one down here in the bottom, down there, and it's got the little bail handle just like the uh, Mini. But this is neat because it has, actually has a reservoir on it. So let's take this tape off. We're going to take this apart and clean it. And then we're going to brew, brew a cup of coffee with it. And then the real test is I'm going to see if I can brew two cups of coffee with it. Because that's where I always had problems with my other one. I could get one okay cup out of it. But I could never get a second cup. And when there's two people drinking coffee, you like to be able to each have a cup of coffee at relatively the same time. Not one and an hour and a half later, the other person. So there it is. Uh, all the tapes off it. It just comes right off. It's got little uh, tapered slides in there so it lines up on the back. See if I can find one pretty interesting thing about it. Okay, this is if you're an RVer, you might want to, to take note of this. It's 120 volts and it's 1520 watts. So if you have a 2000 watt inverter and you're not using nothing else, you can use this. We have a 3000 watt inverter in our RV, so this won't be a problem. But if you have like a pleasure way with a 2000 watt inverter as long as you're not doing anything else you can use this, this coffee maker which is a nice thing so let's go ahead I'm gonna wash this and when I get back I will make some coffee okay, so according to the instructions here I'm gonna do a cleaning a cleaning rinse cycle first so I put filtered water do not use distilled water no to distill that just slides on like that, it goes into place, put the top on it. Oh, and just as a size comparison, this is our mini. If you put them so they're about the same front toward each other, well actually you can do it this way now, they'll be guaranteed to be the same height or same distance. That's the size difference in the two, depth-wise. Height's the same height, and then as far as width goes, they look pretty close to being the same width. Let's see if I take a piece of paper, put it there. 
Okay, this is just about a quarter of an inch wider. So it's a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and we'll do the first cleaning cycle. So let's just plug it in according to the directions here. Plug in place. I need to put a coffee cup underneath it. Hey, look at this one right here. This is from a Cook City, Montana. One of our travels. This is to lift this up. And then remove the water reservoir, fill it. Okay, so we did that. Lift and lower. Do not insert a pod. It'll power on. It did automatically. The three cup sizes will blink. Press eight ounces. Okay. All right, so there we go. Makes a difference to press the brew button. Okay, that's 15 seconds. And it's drained some water out of the tank back there, it looks like. Here comes the first cup of hot water. So from the time I pressed the brew button until right now has been one minute right there. And my cup is about halfway full. Get up my little thermometer here. Let's see. like it's 170 okay that was a minute and a half and it looks like the water's 170 degrees so let's just take that we're gonna pour this out okay now we're gonna try and make a real cup of coffee so I got these are some uh, Dan Don Francisco that I picked up at Kroger's. Pretty good price. And put it in the cup here, just like in the other uh, Keurig. Press it down. And I'm gonna say eight ounce. And then I'm gonna hit the brew button. Okay, it's straight up on the second hand. So let's just see how long it takes. If you look on the water tank back here, see the water level. Okay, I can smell coffee. is coming out it's like almost a hundred and it's 178 it looks like 178 degrees which is nice because that's the second cup okay is there much water left in the reservoir yeah okay so we're gonna we're gonna go for so cup three now the cleaning cup came out nice and hot the second cup came out nice and hot we're going to try a third one. This is a 14 ounce cup. And uh, I think I have enough water. I'm going to do a 10 ounce. 
for me. Oh, it says to add water first. Let me just add some water just to make sure. Here, do me a 10 ounce, please. Yeah. So, got water here, filtered water. And the add water light is no longer blinking. Put that on there, we're at 10 ounce. And then brew. Okay, in the second hand, it was 30 seconds after. So we'll just see how long it takes for, for this. Okay, there's 20, 21 seconds. And I started out with some, some uh, half and half in the cup that was heated to 120 degrees. So I'm kind of expecting this to only come out to be about maybe 165, 170. Alright, there we go. That's 90 seconds. And the coffee came out to 170 degrees. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is a pass. Our other ones, we couldn't have made two cups of coffee in a row. And basically, I, I basically made three because of the, the plain water, the first cup of coffee, and this second cup of coffee. So that's three cups in a row with nice hot coffee. So, so far, very impressed, very happy with this one. Um, time will tell, but I'm happy. So thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave a comment. And have a great day. Bye.